Hey YouTube's channel, Jess Smith here, back with another LEGO Star Wars 2016 Winter Set Build and Review. And this time I've got the Galactic Empire Battle Pack, the last of the four Battle Packs and the last of the one from Battlefront. It is set number 75134, ages 6 to 12, comes with 109 pieces and it's going to be retained for £12 or $12, so the same as all the rest. Now, for a lot of people, this is their favourite battle pack. In my opinion, it is pretty good, but I'm really not massively hyped about it. I mean, Stormtroopers-wise, I bought a fair amount of the 2015 Stormtrooper battle pack, so I don't really need more of them. Again, the jetpacks are pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, they don't all come with jetpacks, and the shock trooper is very cool for what he is, but there's only one of them in the set, unfortunately, and the officer, I'm not 100% on him, I really wish we'd got another shock trooper. Now, I did say in the resistance battle pack that I didn't mind the fact that we got an officer because we hadn't had him before. Now, that is different in this one because we've had a ton of First Order officers, I mean, sorry, <laughs> um, Stormtrooper officers before. It's it's really nothing new, and quite frankly, I'm not happy we've got him. I've already got a ton, so I really wish there was another Shock Trooper, or at the very least, another Stormtrooper, because I'm not sure they would have made another Shock Trooper, because in the, the day, LEGO does sometimes try to ramp up the prices on minifigures, and I think if they gave us another Shock Trooper, while it would be awesome, it would kind of cheapen it a little, so... Even so, it's still a pretty cool set, and the battle pack itself looks pretty cool. But let's just go right now and start a building this set. So just as all the other battle packs, of course, it didn't take that long, only about 10 minutes, pretty simple build. Actually, I would say the set is perhaps a tiny bit smaller than expected to be, and of course it is a battle pack, so I really did not expect that much. But even so, it just kind of, it really, it doesn't take up a lot of the hand, you can't easily hold it with one hand, so, yeah. But even so, let's just now go straight on into the first minifigure, which is the one that I think everyone's going to hate, and it is the Imperial Officer. Alright, so starting up first, we have the Imperial Officer. Now, this guy, I think, a lot of people are going to be going on about how much they don't want this guy on the set, and I'm definitely one of them. I would definitely have liked another shock to be with this set. That would be really, really cool. Although, I do know LEGO tries to put up the price a lot, so I guess I wouldn't have minded at least another Storm Trooper, perhaps with another jetpack. That would have been really nice. But no, we just get another Imperial Officer. Great. Ah, but anyway, so the minifigure itself though is pretty cool I guess, there's nothing massively special to say about it, I mean the printing you can see it does go on the legs, We, I think we've had like a couple Imperial Officers in the past which have printing legs, but they're still very nice, I mean yes I guess he's kind of unique in the way that a lot of them, a lot of these Imperial Officers tend to be darker grey or perhaps black, so it's nice to get sort of light grey kind of thing, but even so, uh, nothing particularly special on the back there as you can see, that printing pretty standard, and just you can more or less just see really, quite frankly there's not a lot happening there, not a lot of stuff happening, perhaps they have improved the design a little perhaps from like previous officers but not massively, we have seen this cat before, we've seen it I think since 2013 I think, I'm not sure, but um, or maybe 2014, I don't know, but uh, yeah, so I don't, well we might have seen this in black before, I'm not entirely sure on that either, but if we haven't I guess it's pretty cool, but nonetheless we have seen this cat design before, of course he only has a one sided face and you can just see this face there with the com link and all that stuff and each of these minifigures does come with one of these spring loaded shooters which as I've said more times I'm not entirely happy with because they suck on the battle pack but anyway that's more or less it to the Imperial Officer, the guy no one really wanted in the set but he's there anyway let's just now move on to the two Stormtroopers, or not Stormtroopers, Jet Troopers as they're called in Battlefront Alright, so moving on now, we have the Stormtrooper, or Jet Trooper, I believe is what they're called. Actually, they might be called something slightly different in Battlefront, I'm not entirely sure on that. 
But uh, this design, by the way, I think is exactly the same as the ones we got in the Star Destroyer from 2014, apart from the battle scars, as you can see, which are a very nice addition. I'm very glad they added those, you know, to give it a little more depth to it, and, you know, to show it is more battle hardened and things like that, which I think is pretty nice. I like this sort of guy. Uh, I mean, all in all, I guess I'd rather have an army of just the regular ones without the sort of, you know, battle scars and stuff, but it is definitely nice to have some of them in your collection. Very cool. Again, he comes with this sort of weapon. Not good at all. I recommend going to Brick Arms or even Little Arm Shop if you want to get some decent weapons. But, uh, yeah, both of them are the same, by the way, because, of course, you do get two in the set, and you have the Trooper Head. Unfortunately, I kind of wish they'd give us something different, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, so, we can just see Stannis Stormtrooper, I think, with the Battle Armor. Of course, even though we have seen it before, it's still a very, very nice design. We've got the leg printing once again, and, of course, these uh, sort of bullet holes kind of thing, blaster bolts. And things like that, very nice. And just a little trivia about the Stormtrooper as opposed to the Clone Trooper. The Stormtrooper armor, apparently, everyone keeps talking about how terrible it is. Apparently, it's meant to not deflect, or not as meant to protect, but it's more meant to, uh, if you will, spread it out. Like, if you get shot there, it's meant to spread the impact over an area, which is meant to knock the Stormtrooper out. Whereas with the Clone Trooper, it, like, in a specific area, it does, can take more hits, but, like, if it gets through the armor, then it just kills the Stormtrooper immediately, it kills the Clone Trooper immediately. Whereas with a Stormtrooper, it wouldn't kill them, it'd just knock them out. Which, in a war, wouldn't really be helpful. <laughs> so, whatever, either way, just just stuffed, really. I just prefer clone armor, because the thing looks cooler. Anyway, so we've got the jetpack here, as I said, exact same one we got in the previous battle pack. Except for the fact this one, of course, is white, and it's got a different printing on there. Very nice. But really, not a massive amount to say. I think it looks very cool, very nice in Battlefront. This guy, actually, is quite hard to beat in Battlefront. He comes with, like, a deflector shield and a jetpack, and all this crazy stuff. Uh, he's just a pain in the backside, but anyway, I think he's still a pretty nice minivan. I'm glad we got two of him. Uh, I wouldn't have mind a third, but I would really have loved a second of Shock Trooper, but you know what it's like. Let's just now move on to the last minifigure. The last minifigure, of course, being the Shock Trooper, which I will agree with a lot of people is definitely the best one of this set. And lastly, but of course not least, we have the Shock Trooper. This guy is very, very nice. We have seen, like, I believe we've seen one Shock Trooper ever before, and that was a Clone Trooper. And that was, like, the old Phase 2 armor from, like, 2007 or something. We got that in the Battle Pack and in the ATAP, like, the very first ATAP, I mean. So, it's been a very long time since we've seen any sort of Shock Trooper. And this guy looks, of course, incredibly cool. And, by the way, just not a bit of trivia. These guys are also very hard to beat in Battle Front, because they've got the, cause their armor's a lot harder. I don't know if this is a cannon. I guess it probably is. Their, their armor is a lot harder, so it can take a lot more damage, and also their guns are ridiculously powerful. But that's beside the point. He gets this little gun, which is no different, so that's not more powerful, but hey, whatever. Uh, the Shock Trooper itself, though, looks very, very nice. Like, very nice. I mean, unfortunately, he does just have the same face as other ones, I guess. <sighs> just something different, Lego. Just, just don't really matter what. Just something different. Anyway, um, so we can see here, he's not actually battle scarred like these ones, but I mean, the fact that he's just a Shock Trooper, just, you know. <laughs> Just makes him better, quite frankly. He looks very, very cool. And in fact, if I was going to make a new Sig fig, which I'm not going to do, but if I was going to make one and I was going to make him a Storm Trooper, I'd definitely probably use parts from him because I think he looks very nice. And by the way, just another bit trivia about me, my favorite color is red. So I'm very, very much gravitating towards him. I think he looks so unbelievably cool. I just wish we got one more. It'd just be so nice. It'd be so cool if we just got one more. But Lego loves to put up the price of these things. So I'm sure they'll be pretty expensive on Bricklink. If we got one more, they'd be less expensive and you could build more armies of these guys. But, <sighs> god damn it, Lego. Anyway, uh, so you can see here, actually the back printing is slightly different. Normally this bar will be white, but it's kind of more, what's the word? Kind of brownish? Sandish brown? I don't know. I just drive. But overall, he's he's very, very nice minifigure. I very much love him. I think he's incredible. The detailing, just the colours, everything about it, I think he looks so cool. Definitely, I would say, the best Stormtrooper we've ever had, period. Which I guess isn't saying that much, seems that normally we just get these guys. But even so, I just wish we got more. Please, Lego. And unfortunately, that's the thing. I doubt we're going to get any more of these guys. Because it's not like this is um, in the new film. This is just part of Battlefront, which is like a recent game. So I don't think we'll get any more Battlefront sets at all. So I doubt we're going to be seeing any more of this guy. If we do, he'll be in a very expensive set. Which is just so annoying because he's so awesome. And I just want to see so much more of him. Oh, why, Lego? Why? We don't want this guy. He sucks. But whatever. Let's just go on then. So the set itself is by far the best minifigure. I just wish we had more. So be prepared to spend a lot of money trying to get an army of these guys. Because it's not going to be easy. But that being said, let's go now on into the cannon thing. 
Let's move on to the set itself, of course, as I said before, this actually isn't massively large, I didn't expect it to be incredibly large, but it is fairly small actually, you know, it really is not a lot to it. It's basically just like some sort of plates on the bottom, kind of built up, if you will. You might in fact be able to make this just from pieces you have lying about, but I'm not sure about that. But um, anyway, moving on to the set itself, there really isn't that much to say. It does come multiple slots, which is nice, I'm glad about that, I mean, technically it only has two slots, you're only meant to put a guy there and there. But you could, I guess, put another one here. Maybe, like, if you remove this cannon, change it out for something, you could put other guys. So, I guess, yeah, it's pretty cool in that respect. I just like those battle packs where you can put all the guys in, but whatever. Uh, you got a couple pegs there where you can put the weapons. And, in fact, on the box, it looks like you're actually meant to put them there. Similar to the Kashikshira battle pack and how that set worked, where you're meant to put the blasters there. Unfortunately, of course, you only get four, so two of them, uh, you could not put the minifigures. Although, saying that, I don't want to put them in on there anyway. I'd rather have them with no weapon than those weapons, but yeah. Anyway, so we do get these two things here. They are printed, which is very nice, of course. And the guy stands there. He doesn't really do much. I think this might have been a battlefront. I didn't see it anywhere, although I think it does look like one of those vehicles, or well, not vehicle, but like one of those stations which could have been in there. Again, I haven't played every mode, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure then, but it does seem like something that could be in battlefront. So yeah, you could use it, I guess. If you want to create a mock, of course, you could... Uh, make a mock out of this, and it wouldn't necessarily be canon, I'm not sure if everything in Battlefront is canon, but um, if you just want to make something kind of a bit of fun, like, you know, not specialise on like whether it's canon or not, then you could stick this in there and it'd be pretty cool, I think it looks pretty cool, and of course, as, as I said, I'm a big fan of red, so that's very nice for me. The canon here does move up and down, but really not nothing too special, just swivel like so, and all that good stuff, but it's really nothing too special, and of course, as you can probably tell, We've got a spring loaded shooter. Whoa, isn't that crazy? Uh, you do get a spare one, of course. But there you go. It can. Well, no, I can't do 360, sorry. I guess the guy here would control this cannon. I don't know. I don't really know why there are two stations, quite frankly. I guess. Maybe it's. A, no, it doesn't look like it's meant to move, but I guess you have to put in those two blasters there, and then the guy rides and shoots them. I don't really know how this thing would work. But even so, it seems like they'd be really exposed, a guy standing up there, but still. Um, now there's more respect to the set, of course, really not massive about to say, these can open up and close and all that stuff, but they're not really meant to. But yeah, you can, there's a ton of places you can put stuff, you can put a guy there, or there, or you know, wherever, but even so. That is more respect to the set, pretty standard, nothing really to say, it's a battle pack, what do you expect? Uh, this battle pack is very cool for the minifigures, which are the main point of battle pack, but the battle pack itself, I guess the pieces are pretty nice, but nothing, you know, to shout about, I mean... Maybe you could part them out and use them for different things, a few of the pieces, but eh, nothing massively special. Okay, that's more set to the set, and let's just now go on the instruction manual box and conclude this review. Our right, so instruction manual is, of course, very standard, the same as all other instruction manuals you've basically ever got since the beginning of time. Uh, just looking at all the minifigures here, I don't believe the Resistance Troop Transport or the Battle on Tucker. Tuck I'm going to get this right for the review. <laughs> I don't believe they're on here. But nonetheless, all the sort of other sets, I guess. I don't know why the two biggest aren't on there, but even so. We, of course, have this thing in the back. All this stuff. Very nice. Etc. All these good things. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, blah. That's more is it then to the sets. You can, by the way, attach um, those pipe things. I'm going to describe them. But you know those pipe things there that that guy's holding? You can attach them, but it doesn't actually say to in the instructions. It's weird. I, I, I just don't even know anymore. Uh, but yeah, very nice, and let's just now go on into the box. So the box itself, of course, nothing too special here either. Uh, see on the back there, got a nice visual course. You do get some spare studs, I do believe, I can't really remember, not that I care. But um, yeah, I think this might be the only battle pack ever, by the way, to have spring-loaded shooters. I Don't quote me on that, I don't know, but it might be the only one ever. Uh, not that we you know, haven't got like a thousand of those anyway. But, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm being so mean to the set. The set itself, then, of course, the box is pretty standard. Really not a lot to talk about here. Galactic Empire, though, does sound really cool. I'm not going to lie, the, the set has a cool name, I think. Galactic Empire Padapak. That sounds awesome. But, uh, yeah, Imperial Shock Trooper. And all that very nice stuff. Oh, apparently you can detach it. Although, when I say you can detach it, obviously you can detach it. It's Lego. But you can attach it to both sides, by the way, if you so desire. I guess that's the reason why there's another black thing on the other side. And I guess you could just... Take it off and point the other way. I mean, to be honest with you, that sounds so obvious that it's like, do I, is there any point in pointing it out? But yeah, I guess you can do that, or you cannot. You could take this off and don't do that. Whatever you want to do, you can make another one of these and put it on both sides. Whatever. <laughs> That's it's Lego. You can more or less do anything. 
But there you go, that's it, it's set. And let's just go on and include this review. Alright, so this set, as I've said, is, eh, I guess it's one of the better battle packs. I mean, in all honesty, I think all these battle packs are kind of decent at best, really. I mean, some of them are pretty cool. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Resistance one. Not all people are, apparently. I guess it's just because we haven't seen the Resistance a lot. But for me, at least, I really don't have a lot of Rebels or, obviously, Resistance Troopers. So for me, I actually really do like that sort of battle pack. And this battle pack, while it is cool, we did get the Stormtroopers one last year, uh, where we got four regular Stormtroopers, which is where I built my army, really. Or not army, but, you know, I got a lot more of them, definitely. And I think that's what a lot of people did. This one, Stormtroopers are cool, but I feel this one really would have been a lot better if we hadn't got the 2015 one, because we got that, and because we've got four Stormtroopers now, this one does not wow me, and I guess, yes, one-on-one, -on -one, these Stormtroopers do look cooler than the other ones, very much so, and the jetpacks are definitely a big plus, and of course, the Shock Trooper is very big plus, but the fact we only get one Shock Trooper, the fact we get an Officer, which we've had so many before, the fact the set, yeah, I guess it's decent for pieces, and just that kind of stuff just really doesn't help it at all, and I feel this may, you know, don't buy this right now, I feel this will go on sale, maybe not massively, I'm not going to say this is going to do absolute terrible, it's not the worst battle we've ever had, by far, but it could be better, there are various ways in which it can be improved, is all I'm saying, so I'd give this a solid 7 out of 10, maybe, maybe mostly just for the shock trooper, because I think that's really, really cool, but I just wish we had more, oh, damn it, Lego, but anyway, there you go, that was more set to the set. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time in another review. I have got all the sets apart from the three I don't care about. Oh, well, okay. So I've got four sets then left to do. I've got the two biggest, the carbon freezing chamber and the hot attack, all of which will be coming very soon, and I'll see you there. Bye, troops.